I'm just back with another video. So today I was just looking at this uh, Hamilton district, uh, Hamilton Niagara district, and they just did a, uh, the latest update, updated poll was June 30th. So on Sunday, they came out with a poll. And what I wanted to show you guys is look at the conservative numbers here. As we all know, Toronto St. Paul just went conservative and it was a liberal stronghold for over 30 years. And Hamilton, which has won a lot of seats in the end, uh, has, the NDP has won a lot of seats in Hamilton, rather. And at least in the part of Hamilton I live is very, very NDP heavy, right? It's like an NDP cesspool here. Now, the Conservatives aren't going to win this riding, which is Hamilton Centre, but they are winning the popular vote by two points in Hamilton, Hamilton Niagara, which, again, this region is very NDP heavy, especially... Uh, in the middle of Hamilton and other districts in Hamilton. And the fact that you're seeing another region going towards the Conservatives with the popular vote, and then even with the projected seats, they're both uh, uh, slated to hit somewhere between three and six, but the Conservatives are projected to hit five with the NDP hitting four, the Liberals and the Greens and the PPC not getting a seat at all. So again, you're seeing you know, people just flocking from the NDP and from the Liberal side, and they're going conservative. Why is this happening even, even in Hamilton, Niagara districts? Well, we do have an NDP, a former ND, uh, NDP member as a mayor, and she has not made a lick of a difference. In fact, you can argue things are getting even worse. There's been, we've had a, a bus strike where people were out of you know, bus services for a week and a half. There's been a cyber attack, uh, more homelessness. I mean, in every park, there's tents. And because of this, you're seeing a conservative uprising. And even in places like Toronto and Hamilton, of all places, some parts of BC are going more conservative now. I mean, it's just shocking to see how many people, especially in a very liberal country, are just flocking over to the conservatives because they don't see any better option. Now, again, I don't know if the conservatives are the better option. They have a lot of problems too. But that being said, Canadians... I've clearly had enough with the Liberals and with the NDP. The Liberals and the NDP also have issues with each other. They're not going to merge and all vote for the same group. Even if they did, they're still going to lose. It's it's really nice to see, and again, I have problems with conservatives, but it's so nice to see that most Canadians are finally starting to wake up and remove themselves from these communist, socialist wannabe parties. And it's about time. It, you know, I'm, a lot of people say, well, it's too late. I don't know if it's too late, but it sure took a long time. And hopefully we can kind of correct a lot of this nonsense and get rid of these stupid taxes and, you know, build more houses and, you know, manage immigration better, et cetera, et cetera, crime. I mean, just there's just so many issues that are just pushing people away from the uh, from the liberal and the NDP party. I mean, man, if, if Hamilton goes mostly conservative or a majority of conservative and so does toronto this is going to be a electoral bloodbath like we haven't seen in a very very long time now i know most of you guys who watch the channel aren't from this area but it is still shocking information to see that the conservatives are up two points and i'm sure every single canadian who has common sense is going to enjoy seeing this uh, these numbers and i'm sure where most of you are living especially those of you out west you're seeing a lot more blue <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a blue wave, a massive blue wave, and I don't think there's anything the Liberals or the NDP can do about it at this point. Uh, let me know what you think about these results or these polling numbers in the comment section. I always enjoy hearing uh, what you guys have to say. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back shortly with another video.